What is going on guys? We're back with another video and we are doing another 10 year sim. Uh, the first video wasn't like crazy uh, liked or viewed or anything, but it was good. I think you guys are semi interested. I think if we did one of these per week or something like that, you guys wouldn't mind. And of course, get the like goal out of the way because I'm a view whore. Uh, if we get 150 likes, I will do a rebuild of this team ASAP. And by this team, I mean the results of 10 year sim. As of right now, we are looking as a pretty damn good team. The Patriots are obviously a very solid team. XP sliders, this is what I'm rocking with. I'm going to keep experimenting, but honestly, this year, 150 XP percentage sliders really doesn't seem like it gets the job done, in my opinion. And the main reason for that, and also in my opinion, is because it is a bulk upgrading system. And... That means, basically, you're going to be upgrading slower, in my opinion, this year. Once again, I love saying IMO. But you're going to be upgrading slower this year than other years, I think. At least from my experience, you can't really, you know, mass upgrade a player based on what we know is the best thing per position. You know, if we go with a wide receiver, we might see blocking stats that obviously aren't going to really upgrade them much. Not really be that important. So, that's why we're going to go a little higher. Enough of that, though. 85 overall Patriots. Tom Brady usually plays about two seasons. Uh, it, you know, obviously, it could vary. We'll see how long he lasts here. Uh, we have everything on auto. Uh, literally everything. I'm going to try to pay attention in case something just doesn't go right. Maybe scouting doesn't work. I don't know. But we're going to pay attention. Of course, we're going to do 10 seasons. So we should end up in, what, 20, uh, 2027, 2028? Let me know in the comment section how many rings... Do you think this sim will get them? And how many you think in real life are going to happen in the next 10 years? I think Brady has a chance. But man, the Eagles are nice. The Eagles are nice. I think they're clearly the team to be. They have a stacked roster. I don't think Tom Brady's going to win another ring. But we'll see because he's, he's still kind of going strong. He's still looking good. Their scheme really benefits him. At the end of the day, they're very successful for a reason. I know there's controversies and... Let's be honest, a lot of luck. There is a lot of luck. You know, there's a few rings you could debate that probably were handed to them. But at the end of the day, they're still very successful. And Mr. TB12 is obviously the biggest reason. Uh, and like I said, with their scheme, he could play several years still. I mean, we just don't know. But obviously, he won't last that long in this sim. We are in the playoffs. 10-6, and six, Patriots. Uh, super power puff division absolutely disgusting not even a single six win team of course i've been very biased against the patriots so if you think i would force them wins you really don't know me too well i mean as a packers fan slash rogers fan you're almost like forced to hate on the patriots and tom brady so there's that i want everyone to be upgraded right away i have that all set up but they might have gotten it like right at the end of the season, which wouldn't surprise me at all. It looks, it looks like the AI is doing their job. So let's take a look at the stats. Uh, do we want to look every season? Probably, especially with Brady still around. 4,562 yards, 45 touchdowns, 8 picks. I don't know if it said he was the MVP, but holy crap, he sure as hell deserves it there. Uh, 24 touchdowns for Julian Edelman. That might be the highest number I've ever seen in a rebuild ever. Actually, that's really crazy. 24 touchdowns. Is that NFL record worthy? That's that's really high up there. I mean, I might take a look at this. I mean, there's quarterbacks in the league that don't throw that many touchdowns. Of course, we'll take a look at the awards. MVP Rodgers. I don't know how the hell he would have played better than Brady here. We'll have to take a look at that. Bills, rookies doing good. Doing well. Uh, so there's the awards. Probably not going to take a look at the awards at all times, but... NFL records. This could be a record. It is. Randy Moss, ironically with the Patriots, had 23. And Julian Edelman breaks the NFL record with 24. Like I said, I think it's the biggest I've ever seen for a... Uh, what is it called? For an AI. Like Sim. That's crazy. So the Patriots win there. 28-17. They do lose by 4 to the Chargers, who uh, are very good in Sim. So... Not bad. Did get to the... Uh, was it the conference, actually? No, it wasn't. It was the divisional. Got to the divisional there, I believe. And the winner of the Super Bowl is the Eagles by three. That's kind of a, a low-scoring game. I know it's two great defenses, but I would have expected a little bit more. Postseason, it was, in fact, the divisional. Lost by four. So the divisional round, is that the last game Tom Brady has played? It appears not. 
is, you know, we'll maybe have to sim another one to see. Now, Tom Brady is definitely in full effect still. Uh, the team looks all right. Sim to the draft. We like to see who the uh, the ten year sim teams draft every year. See if they're uh, they're competing at a high level in the uh, the scheming category, which the Patriots are one of the best schemers going. Draft recap. Let's take a look. So, with the twenty fifth overall pick, Enoch Dobbs, a normal dev middle linebacker, average speed, nothing crazy there. A quarterback condo, uh, quick dev, twenty four years old, a little bit of a steal I would say, considering it's a late second. Not a bad quarterback. Uh, a slow DN, probably a big man. A yeah, big boy. Then Raymond Bartu, uh, a decently fast linebacker. So not a super year one, you know, great year one draft, but overall not bad. Not bad at all. So let's send to the regular season and let's see exactly who the Patriots are going to have as their starting lineup. So Tom Brady was a 95 overall. Superstar dev, 42 years old. Still looking amazing. Still looking really good. What He's probably top two, right? Top two, maybe top three ranked. Yeah, number two in the league. Probably number two to Rodgers. I really wanted to see those stats. That's all right. So looking at the lineup, uh, you know, some of the guys are getting a little older, getting a little bit lower in the devs, or uh, overalls anyways. But overall speaking, not a bad roster. The linebacker core definitely needs to upgrade. They went in the right direction, just didn't land the greatest of talent. He will be a starter. I'm sorry. I will dip my hand to this one. I think it is a better decision to do this. It looks like they are. They're running a 4-3 here. Are they actually? They might be in a 3-4. This could be a 3-4, actually. Multiple 3-4. Is that really what they run? The Patriots run a, a hybrid defense, after all. So, so we do have another 10-6 season. The Jags, who uh, had a very good chance of beating the Patriots, but kind of choked that one away. Uh, face us here. Take a look at the stats. Once again, I, I, I don't know if you guys really want to see game by game. But Brady has another really good season. A little bit worse than last year. What is this? <laughs> James White got robbed. It's all right, though. Uh, receiving, Julian Edelman took a bit of a step back. But Gronk still looking very strong. Torrey Smith kind of took a step up, actually. Offensive line play looking good. Defensively, sack totals, Trey Flowers and Dante Hightower lead with decent numbers for this year's sim, in my opinion. The uh, the numbers have been a little bit lower, especially on the defensive side. Braxton Berrios reminds me of uh, Jason Statham's name and Crank. Haven't watched a movie in ages. Alex Smith, 15-1 for the Redskins. Get out of here. Where's Tom Brady? Tyrod Taylor is the quarterback of the Bears. Things are happening already. Tom Brady, number seven. Rodgers, I don't know. If, I don't have injuries on, but Rodgers is nowhere to be seen in the MVP list. Leonard Fournette, best player. Shazier's still going strong. I mean, I would love for Shazier to be able to play again, but let's be honest, it's not going to happen. I wouldn't take the risk if I was a team. I wouldn't feel right doing it. Got to remember to use this XP as well. To be fair, I probably should... In the future, like I like making the names and all that, but in the future, I probably should just use the real life coaches because it does play a factor. It does kind of matter, especially with a team coach as good as Be uh, Bill. Lost by 13, so honestly, we might have seen the last of Brady to the offseason. I would assume this is Brady gone. He is gone. Kondo uh, must have been on the uh, XP list because he's a 77 overall. I think he started as a 76, so he upgraded himself a little bit. Don't care about the team right now because, once again, there's still off-season, you know, draft, free agency, all that stuff. So start the draft, simulate the draft more or less. And let's see what year two draft yields the old Patriots. We could very well see a huge drop-off, maybe not even the playoffs. Uh, you would assume one of the other teams is going to step up soon. Zach Perkins, not really the direction I would have personally went. Uh, 21 years old, which is nice, but super slow. Good trucking back. I have no idea why they took him. However, Keenan Swanson, normal dev, but he is 22-6-2. Exactly what they needed, in my opinion. Honestly, a little shocked by the agility. Normally, most of these guys in the, the low 90s, high 80s usually don't have great agility, but they land in themselves a great wide receiver, so not a huge fan of their number one overall pick, uh, but their second round pick was nice. That's, uh, that's a nice pick. So looking at the regular season roster for year three, we have uh, Edelman as the starter, who is a star dev. Uh, 84 speed, 90 excel. 
Still looking okay, you know, he doesn't really start off fast anyways, but with his star dev, he's still able to keep himself decently good. Offensive line, I think, is uh, is looking very good, actually. What else we got? Kondo is the starting quarterback. They did a good job finding themselves a, a star to work with in the second round. Dobbs really not developing. Bartu makes himself a starter. I believe it was uh, someone else that started last season, if I'm not mistaken. Interior of the line, looking really strong. Honestly, if I was them, I would maybe debate just moving on to a, a complete 4-3 here. But that's not what they're doing. Jimmy Ward joins the team, I believe, or it was Xavier Howard. Someone, what the hell is wrong with this pitcher? He's got something white on his pitcher. I don't know what that is, but not a bad team. 82 overall, you know, without Brady, a couple of years in, a bit better than you would have expected, I would say. So this is uh, the biggest year so far that we've simmed. First year without Brady, the results definitely uh, correspond. Uh, a 5-10 in one season after losing Brady. That is unfortunate for them. Bad division once again, but the Jets kind of emerge as the uh, the favorite, at least for this season. So the Jets may be turning around. Uh, a couple of years there with Sanchez and that insane freaking defense. The Jets were looking like a little something. So maybe they return to those days. Alan Kondo, not a bad year. Actual one for him starting. Rushing wasn't great. Edelman still doing well. Gronk takes a bit of a step back. The youngster... Swanson. I wanted to move him up, but in all fairness, in the Patriots scheme, it's very 50-50. We see Autori Smith, you know, kind of do his thing for them last season in this uh, sim. So I didn't want to touch it. I wanted the AI decide it for itself because at the end of the day, all AIs are going to make the pretty much the worst decision. So I don't want to affect that myself. Rogers last year, nobody, basically nowhere to be seen. And this year he becomes MVP again. So Rodgers statistically proven himself as one of the greatest to ever do it. Can he win some rings, though? That's the that's the question we all have. At the end of the day, it's a team sport, but still. We want to see the damn Super Bowls, Rodgers. Coming from an unbiased Packers fan. Super Bowl, uh, a victory for the Browns. Year three over the Rams. Uh, two up-and-coming teams in real life. Rams a little bit more established, but... That would be an interesting Super Bowl. I think it would be uh, kind of crazy. Like, you know, maybe five years ago, maybe even like two years ago, you would have been like, nah. Draft recap, this is going to be a top uh, five potential pick here, maybe top six. Uh, so number eight, actually, so a little bit worse. They go defense, which is perfectly fine. Do they land a steal? Huh? It's 22 years old, quick dev, an amazing safety. <laughs> 70, uh, 98 injury. At the age of 22, that is a great, great pick. Second round pick, wide receiver. I agree with the pick. However, look at the speed. I don't like it at all. Third round, running back. You look at this guy and you're thinking, hey, why'd you take that guy in the first round the other year? That's a great question. <laughs> That's a really great question. Uh, let's No, we're not simming 10 years. That's. I mean, we are, but that's not how we're doing it. I should have probably kept injury. Let me know if you guys want to see injuries on for this series. We do see Edelman did retire. Gronk probably not too far behind. Uh, Malcolm Mitchell is the uh, number two wide receiver in this team. Uh, offensive line still looking strong. Pretty much the same overall. Michael Kendricks now joins the roster. Savon Gilmore. Uh, Jonathan Jones, I actually, I don't know if he upgraded, but I think he returned to the roster. You also see Jamar Taylor. You also see Morgan Burnett. Now, I will say I will be making the executive decision to put Steele in the first slot. There's literally no reason for him to... Well, in all fairness, Duke isn't bad, but clearly Steele should start. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Well, we got a little bit of a spoiler there. The team around, uh, what's his damn name, Len? Uh, Kondo. Kondo, not nearly as great as the Patriots. However, is that really a good excuse? Team looking reds all across the board. Uh, for upgrading-wise, I think 200s is pretty fair. I think it's working out so far. 3-13, uh, and 13, l pretty low, so I might have to actually show you guys. We didn't force lose, you know. As much as uh, a lot of people want to see the Patriots crash and burn, I do not care. <laughs> when Brady's gone, I don't care if they win 10 Super Bowls, you know. If anything, I'd actually prefer that they won rings after Brady left because then that would prove a lot of suspicions. Trey Flowers, 11 sacks. Hughes, 9. Uh, looking decent there. Offensive rank, very bad. <laughs> Very bad. So uh, somehow our coach is actually still getting XP, even though 
clearly he shouldn't because this team is doing poorly. Uh, DB and all that's great, but I think wide receiver is one of the biggest needs for this team. And honestly, in real life, it's, it is one of the biggest needs. I know uh, with their scheme, they definitely utilize their running backs and everyone pretty damn well. Even if someone's supposedly this terrible player, everyone says they are. Uh, the routes that they have for their offense, they get a lot of separation. It's not all Brady. I can attest to this. I watch Patriots games here and there. Even in the Super Bowl, everyone want to say Brady went off. He had a lot of open players. Let's take a look at the draft. Number one overall pick, I figured. Uh, so, Deion Patrick, cornerback, really not the biggest need. However, it probably was the best available pick in the draft. I can allow that. I think that's not bad. Uh, with the number one overall pick and no trading down, this was a pretty damn bad draft. I can't lie. At least they did pick up the greatest player they could have at number one. Defense is in a decent direction. I'd like to see offense get some more playmakers for Kondo if Kondo is really going to be that starter at this point. If they grab someone new, I'd have to make the executive decision because Kondo, unless they don't re-sign him, looks to be the starter for the next 10 plus years in, you know, in Sim here. So I believe we just finished season five, beat the Packers by three uh, and eight and eight. That is not a bad season. Not bad at all. Ezekiel Elliott is the MVP of the league. Uh, regular season. Start off a little weak, finished decently strong. Not bad at all. Beating the Packers. I don't know if they're still a good team, but not bad. Eight and eight is definitely a nice come up. Uh, Kondo throwing a little bit more picks than I would like him to. Touchdown's a little low. Perkins. Not super great. Receiving, Gronk, still doing all right. Swanson is the number one guy. Not really playing like it, though. Beck, he did all right considering how slow he is. Santos, don't know who Ryan Santos actually is. He's a three-year player. Uh, he was the guy that they actually drafted. He was super slow. He had a decent season, one of the better ones for the receiving core. Offensive line, giving up a bit more than usual. It might have something to do with the receivers not getting open, though. Obviously, you have to take uh, longer to throw if you can't get someone uh, open. Obi Malafon with four picks. That could lead to uh, a decent bit of upgrading. But this was season five, of course. Draft recap for the 16th pick. They go offensive line. Not really a position I agree with. Uh, they grabbed an okay player. Cornerback Raymond Andrews. A little bit fast. Good dev. Once again, going for positions they don't. So not a single uh, playoff uh, appearance after Brady's retirement. We do see now that one of the biggest targets on the Patriots team is has basically become useless. Uh, offensive line definitely is getting worse. I can say that. Uh, Dobbs is nice. Backup middle linebacker is not looking great. Malafonwu. Uh, D-line, they lost uh, Hughes, probably due to uh, dropping an overall. No zone coverage, but an insane man corner. I don't know where the hell Stefan Gilmore went. Probably was uh, just let go. They didn't pursue him. Patriots dropped back down to 3-13. I thought when we did the Browns one, it would have been better. So I think, honestly, just to test it, the very next one we do might be the Eagles. And if they do really poorly, or whoever the best team is, the Chargers, to be fair, uh, win quite a bit in Sim. Uh, touchdowns are under 20 now. The, the numbers are getting worse every single season. In all fairness, the receiving talent isn't getting better any of the season. So, you know, we're not seeing free agent signings that are really helping the offense. I'm seeing some okay ones on defense, but... I don't think the this team is doing enough to sign players. That's that's my my biggest concern. And now, honestly, I can't remember if that was. Now, I think that was season six, actually. And so I think the Broncos beat the Packers. That's I'm pretty sure what it was. Broncos over Packers. Kind of shocking to see the Broncos do that. Broncos usually don't do too well in sim. So let's take a look at the draft. Number one overall pick again. I think. Oh no, number two actually. They go defensive tackle. Quick dev. E two overall. Nice dev. Good strength. A good player. Once again, I don't like the position. Uh, star Dev. Definitely a project. Does not look like he could start over Kondo in my my thoughts. I don't think I would start him even in like a rebuild. I'm not really liking number one overall. No, number four overall tight end. I just don't like it. Honestly, I would have rather seen them go with this guy. 6'7", 21 years old. You probably just lost Gronk. You get a Gronk clone, and they go with Derek Carr. But I also see that they got rid of their one and only true good receiver. And, of course, they go for an old white guy. That's that's the Patriot way, man. And uh, let's take a look at the defense. Offense is just horrendous. They add Justin Houston. 
Uh, Dante Hightower has become almost unusable. Really, the drafts are starting to fall apart, if we're being honest. Uh, we did lose a DT, so it makes sense, actually, that they did go DT. But number two overall is way too damn high. Okay, somehow it's a 7-9 and nine team. <laughs> it might have to do with Derek uh, Carr. Uh, because of actual, like, play, like how well they played, team actually kind of gets back into a, almost an elite status here. Uh, I don't know who the hell Andrews is. That might have been a guy... They picked up mid-season or traded for. I do not remember seeing Andrews. Uh, somehow still an amazing player, actually. That's really impressive. You can debate easily that uh, he had a better season than Kondo did have in the previous years. Trent Taylor, at the age of 30, actually had a pretty damn good season. Gronk somehow had a really good season, considering how bad he is now. Offensive line played so poorly. I don't know how they went 7-9. and nine. Uh, pay, uh, Sacks. One of the best seasons, actually the best season we've seen in Sim, with two players having 13 sacks. Hui with seven. Very impressive for a defensive tackle, actually. Uh, Hui, where is his number? 56 tackles. I and mean, that's pretty good as a disruptor. Pretty sure that was season seven. We're moving on to season eight. I've been doing a little bit better, I think. I think this video is a little bit better structure, structured than the last one. So it might be a little bit longer, so I'm sorry. Maybe I'll edit it down a little bit better as well, though. With the number 14th pick, they grab a safety, a position of, of decent need. Super damn star dev. He's a little slow, but that height definitely uh, makes up a little bit for it. So that was like a rental player. Derek Carr is gone. Uh, with the lack of talent on this team, you got to think that we have lots of salary cap. So let's take a look at the salaries. How much cap do we have? I mean, that's unbelievable. We have 76 mil cap. You should never have 76 mil cap at the start of a season. That's ridiculous. Kind of getting close to our final uh, chapter here. I believe, if this is correct, as of right now, we have won one singular playoff game in eight. So the Patriots beat the uh, the once upon a time Super Bowl champion Browns, but once again, come away with a under six win season. Let's take a look at the league stats. Kondo with 15 touchdowns that's unbelievable man maybe they're just not uh, scouting properly i don't really know like, i just don't like the way this is i just don't like it like i want to see a good draft i don't know why they can't find a good draft like the names that are probably in there are insane by now like i honestly i think for the last season we're just gonna like not have the ai do off season i think i'm just gonna do it Maybe that's what we'll do. I don't know. Or maybe we'll have it where mid-season we'll do it. Let me know what you guys want to see the structure. And if this is a long-running series, I missed the Super Bowl. So season nine, uh, Blake Bortles is now the quarterback. Kondo is actually not even on the roster anymore. So Blake Bortles is somehow a star dev, 83 overall. This team could be quarterbackless by the end of the season. That's embarrassing. Uh, so once again, 79 overall. I don't know how the other teams are faring. So actually, let's just look at the uh, Steelers. So 79 to their 84. So every team's around 84 to 90, I would say. So I think 200% is pretty much fair. I just think the Patriots have been drafting very poorly here. Chargers, we lose to, and we are, to be fair, an 8-8 eight eight team. Bills, however, 15-1. I'm going to take a look at this team, man. I'm going to have to take a look. Patriots, not great. Bills, apparently god tier. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this, this tells you that the Patriots are just drafting poorly because... This is a really good team. I know they're a little older, but the the team we have is old and bad, you know? This is a good team that's old, but also very good. Not super old, really. Just really great team. Darius Geis. I mean, that's a great team. Blake Bortles, once again, you know, kind of like Carr, stepped in the team. Did actually pretty well, considering the talent around him. Obviously not enough. 8-8 eight and eight was a good season, but not enough. Uh, was this the youngster? No, it wasn't. Scooter was the, the youngster that should be a starter, but it wasn't. Defensively, let's take a look at the numbers. Uh, almost next to nothing. Picks, Deion Patrick, one of the best corners in the league. That was the one good pick, and that had to be number one overall for it to be so good. So the Falcons win. So, yeah, we're going to do the Chargers next, I think. If they don't usually win it. 104 mil. It wouldn't let me re-sign my players, by the way. So with 104 mil, who do you go for? If a running back, Harvey Bullitt. Very fast. This looks to be one of my big targets. Uh, cock rain. Almost sounds like cock train. Something your mother gets run on all the time. I mean, what? 
Dontarius Norman. So, I mean, clearly Bullet is the, the best available here. And he's really not even asking for that much as a top-tier player. So I would be willing to pay him that. Doesn't even put a dent in our money. So I also need to see what the actual roster looks like. Is Bortles still here? He is not. So quarterback is a thing of need. I mean, we offered a lot of great players. If we don't get someone, you know, most of these guys, I'm going to be a little shocked if we're being honest. So we got Bullet, the starting running back, a very good player. We got Rayner, a uh, very good lineman. Surprise drawn. You know, we gave him four-plus points over his next guy. Didn't know why he didn't go with us. Bobby O'Hara, good D-end. Good linebacker in that man. Sierra, the taller guy, unfortunately does not want to sign. Flemons, not a bad receiver. We take him. Walker, another good pass rusher. Mayer, uh, not a bad linebacker. Andrews, really good corner. Super steal. And Everett, uh, the potential starting quarterback. So, just in that free agent class alone, obviously there's some uh, movements we need to make for this line. Like, Lepsis will play right, ta uh, right guard anyways. We've already made a huge upgrade. I don't know what our overall was before free agency, but sure as hell wasn't an 80 or whatever we are now. Clearly not. Clearly not that good. And, of course, when I move him to right guard, Raynor's like, nah, I want to play right guard. Of course. Fourth round next year should go. There we go. Fair trade. Especially for them. Oh, I almost just skipped it. <laughs> that would have been a fail. I don't even know if this quarterback's actually here. Quinn Nowak. Definitely there. Let's see what we got. Quick dev. 78 overall. 21 years old. 98 throw power. That's insane. A little bit of speed. You know, it's better than Brady. A lot faster than Brady is on the game. Or was definitely uh, worth it because he's clearly going to start. I know we signed that quarterback. We didn't really pay him though. Uh, obviously, linebacker and tight end was one of the big needs as well. Turner Huff is still there. 7.2 average speed, please. Normal devs, 81 overall. Actually, really solid. Once again, we've only taken two picks and done better than the Patriots have basically since the start of this whole thing. So, Mark Andrew, that was not the guy. I want the guy that's. Baller, here he is, I think. Yeah, pass block, run block. So this guy looks good. 79 overall, but he is normal dev. Starter quality. A little low in the strength, but that's all right. Good dude, trade up again. This guy looks good, in my opinion. Ooh, 74 overall. Oh, he's 24. I did not know that. Uh, Raw running's not great. His catching's okay. Let's take a look at the draft. And here we are. So 78, 81, 79, 74, 75. Uh, Huff was a very good pick. Nowak. Clearly the future of this team. And let's go on a week. Set the lineup and get ready for the best season we've had since Brady. Probably. Freaking hopefully. I mean, just like, just making the free agent signings. I mean, look how much more depth we have on this line. Like, Raiola is the starter. Solder is the trade block guy. I mean, at 29, he's still worth probably at least a fourth or a fifth round. The team is already just 10 times better. Oh, no, I didn't. I let I let Clark start, and Waynes took the job. Maybe I should have started him. It is what it is. Special team. So an 83 overall team, not bad at all. Free agents, anyone here for us? Got Devontae Adams, you know, guys like these that we could take, but we don't, you know, we're not really that desperate to take someone that old. We're, we're fine, I think. But, yeah, I mean, this is going to be the team, and we're going to, uh, well, I'm going to first let the AI decide all these things. Hopefully they don't bench him. But it should be a good season. I don't know if it's going to be playoff worthy, but definitely in the right direction. Way more than we were before. So we did miss the playoffs. <laughs> we were 7-9. and nine. Uh, Nowak definitely did start. They just put Everett above, which makes no sense because Nowak still ended up as a better overall anyways. Once again, the game always like resets the lineup based on who's the best overall. But you can see, even though we went 7-9, and nine, we're an 86 overall team. And that's the most important part. So let's take a look at the actual stat line. Of course, I don't know why I would force lose. If anything, I would make force winning be a thing because, yeah, I want to prove that I'm a good rebuilder, even though this isn't a rebuild. But obviously, if I do one good season, uh, like we have an amazing season after me changing the team up, it's going to make me look good. Uh, Noak, not a bad start. Rushing, uh, Bullet really didn't live up to the hype. Uh, Callaway was pretty solid. Blocking. Not really super great, but not really super poor, I guess. Right tackle is always going to struggle. Pass rushing, Wesley Walker was a good pickup. Uh, picks, really no picks at all. Turnovers were not a thing. Aldrick Rosas, I probably should have taken a look at him because he was having a lot of bad seasons for us. Bullet did have a touchdown. 
See if we win any awards. Probably not, right? AFC Offensive Rookie of the Year, Quinn Nowak. Defensive Rookie of the Year, not our guys. But Nowak winning Offensive Rookie of the Year pretty much sets him as, you know, the next star for this team. He's, what, going to be 22 years old, 81 overall with, I don't know what dev, probably at least star. Only quick, really. Still looking very strong. I mean, just the quarterback alone, better than the AI did throughout all those sims. So, very proud of that. We will take a look at who wins the Super Bowl, and that is where we will end it. And, uh, of course, 150 likes once again. As I mentioned a third time now. Uh, we will rebuild this team proper. We definitely took this team in the right direction. Uh, and probably like a, you know, a sim later. Oh, damn it. I thought I simmed to the Super Bowl, unless that's a glitch. Could be a glitch. Don't know if we lost anyone. Definitely didn't gain anyone. We could have. But let's take a look at who wins the Super Bowl, I suppose. So... Falcons beat the Chargers. Chargers have lost like three or four Super Bowls. It's crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions who the next team should be, once again, I wanted to choose a team that seems to be at least having success, maybe not winning the Super Bowl, but being in it. I wanted to use the Chargers probably next just because they seem to do pretty well in Sim. And if we turn that into a bad thing, if we don't at least see like one or two Super Bowl appearances, then I am doing something wrong here. But this was a fun one. Patriots win one playoff game in 10 seasons the browns tenure was better than uh the patriots is all i'm gonna say so hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys uh like this series which i really do want to continue and hope you guys come back for next video but until next video see ya